fine job. Let's keep this place up. Kill the enemy target and protect ours. What's up, Internet? This is Hourglass Gaming. And before we start today's video, I just want to apologize for my voice. I've come down with some terrible sickness, and my voice sounds absolutely awful. So with that out of the way, we can get going. For today's video, I wanted to talk about bots in Titanfall and discuss what I think they bring to the game. Having bots as part of the game is one of the components of Titanfall that gives it its unique feel so I think the inclusion of bots is worth examining. Bots are somewhat controversial. A lot of highly skilled players think that bots are part of the game to make new gamers feel good about themselves for being able to kill anything. This may be the case to some extent. Titanfall does include the smart pistol in the game so that new players can ease into things, but I don't think that Respawn considers new players to be porcelain dolls that they need to coddle, less fragile egos shatter. That doesn't seem like the basis for putting AIs in a game. And I think the bots add a lot more than new player feel-good bullet sponges. I think they actually enhance the gameplay and atmosphere of the game. And here's why. Firstly, killing bots does matter if you're playing attrition. This is one of the elements that sets attrition apart from more typical team deathmatch game modes. Killing a specter or grunt gets you one attrition point, killing a pilot gets you four, and killing a titan gets you five. Grunts and Spectres typically move in groups of 3 to 4, so if a drop pod lands and 4 Grunts get out, and you hit them with a satchel charge or cluster rocket, then you've effectively done your team as much good as you would have done by killing a pilot, but at almost no risk to yourself. But killing Grunts isn't just about getting attrition points, it's also about getting you into a Titan and getting that Titan's power core charged as fast as possible. Scoring hits on grunts, specters, pilots, and titans will earn you reductions in the time until your titan is deployed. If you're already in your titan, it will get you a reduction in the time until your titan's power core is charged. If you pass up an opportunity to get shots off, even if those shots are with a pilot primary weapon against a distant titan, then you've passed up an opportunity to get yourself into a titan faster. If you have a minute left until you can call in your titan, you can get it within 15 seconds by killing a few squads of grunts. It's a similar system to how player skill in League of Legends can be derived by how many minion kills they have. No, killing minions isn't hard, but blowing by them on your way to prove that your PvP kill death ratio is amazing is a sign that you don't understand the mechanics of the game. Success in Titanfall's attrition mode is about having the highest score, not the greatest number of pilot kills. If you look at high scores, MVPs often have the highest number of minion kills on their team. Essentially, minions in attrition are a test of pride. Are you in the game to prove that you're better and faster on the draw than other players, or are you in the game to play the game that Respawn made? If you're in the game to play the game Respawn made, then you're not concerned about how badass you'll look on the scoreboard. You're doing everything you can to get yourself into a Titan, and to get that Titan powered up. The other thing that bots do, regardless of what mode they're in, is add atmosphere to the game. It's more accurate to think of them as terrain than player standards. If you think about it, the buildings in the game are detailed to look like buildings so that the game is more interesting. But as far as a computer is concerned, Titanfall is a game about boxes, moving through other boxes, occasionally getting inside of bigger boxes, with some math to see whether or not some of the boxes stop existing. That sounds really boring. So instead, we make the map boxes into buildings and bunkers and trees. We make the player boxes look like pilots. We make the bigger boxes look like titans. And we make the math look like missiles. And now all of a sudden we're having fun. Bots and Titanfalls are an extension of this. They're in the game to make it feel more alive. With the notable exception of Battlefield, a lot of shooters feel nothing like a battle. In Call of Duty, randomly, abnormally well-equipped soldiers run carelessly around, madly gunning each other down. And in Halo, the reality of warfare is so far removed that it feels much closer to a sport, which is also how it's being marketed now. 
Titanfall set out to make a game that felt like Battlefield, but still allowed players to be the well-equipped badasses. Before Titanfall came out, I didn't understand this conceit. They talked about how everyone in the game played elite pilots, and I didn't understand where the regular infantry went. But that became apparent in the first match that I played, where a grunt asked his sergeant what's so special about those guys, and the sergeant replied, just watch them, they're on a whole other level. In Titanfall, you play Call of Duty's badasses, running around with no regard for their well-being. But doing so is framed by the perspective of the grunts, who see pilots as a league of their own. The actions of the pilots make sense all of a sudden, where in other video games they really don't. The dialogue of the grunt is another piece of evidence that I think indicates that they really aren't just there for you to shoot. The dialogue that the grunts exchange is extensive and situational. If you stick with a squad of grunts, they'll thank you for being with them, drawing some measure of comfort from the veteran walking among them. If a titan goes down and they see it, they'll panic, and in any event, they have thousands of words worth of dialogue on different maps, where grunts on each side express their fears and hope. If you pass by them, it sounds like they're in a battle, and they're genuinely worried that they might not make it out. And they should be, because battles in Titanfall have horrifying losses. I counted minion kills in one game of attrition, and it was close to 200 just on our side. 200 killed or wounded in the space of 15 minutes is a spectacular rate, and it serves to frame the attritional style of the war between the militia and the IMC, and highlight the devastating effect that Titans have. All of these details help make the player feel like they're really in a serious battle, and allow them to forget for a moment that they're playing a game which is why I think that bots are a valuable part of what Titanfall brings to the table. There are also a point in the game where I think more could be done. In a battle as heated as the ones that take place in Titanfall, more than just Titans and infantry should be involved. I originally thought that Titanfall's future might lie in becoming more like Battlefield, where you have not only Titans, but also tanks and gunships. But then Titanfall loses what it is and becomes Battlefield with Titan, also known as Battlefield 2142. I think that the inclusion of bots opens up a world of opportunity for the game's future. There are already models in the game for tanks, dropships, and fighters. So what if those were included more extensively? What if bot tanks worked like grunts do for pilots, slowly moving around the map, taking loud but largely ineffective shots at titans before you come in and take them out? They could be worth two or three points and would serve a similar purpose to the current grunts, but on a titan scale. What if instead of titan ordnance, you had a laser designator to call in an airstrike? The target would get a brief airstrike inbound warning so they could try to react, and then a bomb would drop. Or what if instead of your titan's power core, you could call in a gunship to give you cover? Currently in the game, turrets can swing fights not because they do a lot of damage, but because they can prevent your shields from coming back online. What if a gunship's minigun could fulfill a similar role? I also think that Titanfall has an opportunity to utilize something like Battlefield's Commander Mode, but where they are taking more direct control of grunts. Features like the Commander's Cruise Missile are cool visual effects, but they're frustrating to get killed by. But what if a cruise missile was being used to kill grunts? Then you get the same visual effect, but players don't experience the frustration of being killed by something they have no ability to respond to. I would also love to see more variety in the deployment methods for grunts. Currently, they deploy by drop ship or drop pod. However, some maps are coastal, so it would be cool to see boats dropping them off. And some maps have roads leading onto the map, so it would be interesting if they deployed from the game's armored trucks. All in all, I think that bots have a lot of potential for making Titanfall an even more interesting game. And they're one of the key components that separates it from other shooters. But what do you guys think? Are you happy that bots are included in Titanfall, or would you rather just be fighting other player-controlled soldiers? Let me know down in the comments. That's about all for today's video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.